Hey everyone, welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. So uh, this tutorial is kind of an update to another tutorial that I gave on how to copy and paste. Uh, so Clip Studio Paint has updated their software. We are now on version 1.6.7, I believe. And so they added a new feature, I just noticed it, um, that makes it way easier now to copy and paste uh, in Clip Studio Paint. So uh, I just pulled up a canvas here, and I'm going to draw an eyeball, uh, just like I did in my uh, previous uh, copy and paste. So let me just finish that up real quick. So there's the eye. So what I'm going to do is copy this eye, and then uh, mirror it so it looks like the other eye. So you can see here that we are now in version 1.6.7. And so uh, we just do the same thing almost. Uh, we go to the uh, lasso tool or the selection tool. You can pick whatever. I like the lasso. So now you'll see these two items here on your launch uh, toolbar down here. It's copy and paste and cut and paste. So we're going to do the copy and paste and you click it. Oh, you'll notice, see we're on layer one. And when you click this button here, it automatically creates a new layer with the copy of uh, the eyeball uh, so I you can't notice it because it's sitting right on top of the original but if you select your uh, copy again and then you click this item here scale down scale up or rotate option you can then slide oops you can then slide your copy over so you can see your copy so and then of course um, you can uh, well, let me show you. Uh, so they're on two separate layers. And then, of course, uh, you can um, click the that rot that moving rotating selection again. And then, of course, you have you can uh, click this option here under the tools tool properties and you can uh, mirror your your um, your copy or you can uh, do this one where you can flip it on, on the vertical axis uh, you can certainly rotate it any way you want um, and then you can also do a combination you can rotate it and then flip it or rotate it and then uh, switch uh, well it's not horizontal but you know you can have those options still so I'm just gonna flip it here and rotate it a little bit and then of course move it so it looks like uh, two eyeballs staring at you but they're not identical right one's kind of tilted so you know it doesn't look completely symmetrical so you can see they're both in separate layers so um, what I'm going to do is come up here to this option up here and combine the top layer with the one right below it so now both of these eyeballs are on one layer but um so let's look at the other option the cut and paste so with the cut and paste um so if you have two you have one drawing on one layer but you want to remove a part of your drawing and put it in and uh, just cut it out and put it somewhere else you can uh, just select whatever part of your drawing you want to cut out and just hit this button here cut and paste And so whatever's in the selected area, when you select um, cut and paste, it will automatically cut it out of the layer one and put it in a copy of, of the layer. So basically, we're back to where we started. Um, so that was just one update that I noticed immediately, and I wanted to uh, show you guys that. So. I uh, hope you guys learned something, and I will see you guys in the next one.